Hi, and welcome to a What Works video. I'm going to explain uh, just one thing that works really well for me, and you can decide whether it's something you want to explore a bit more. And then there's normally more information on the same uh, YouTube channel where you are, probably where you are now. Okay, so the thing I'd like to talk to you about now is um, creating worksheets um, that are self marking um, to a degree. Um, that mean that you can manage a whole series of worksheets that you give to a student or students and then you can see the results come in you can you can adjust the marks you can look at the how it's all been done um, it comes from a, a program called a website called liveworksheets.com which in the lockdown is currently free so let's have a switch over to that okay live worksheets works by in two different ways but so you can either have your students listed um, or you can send custom links which don't uh, which just show you one email sorry one worksheet and they don't give you a bigger picture of what of what's been done so it takes a little bit more effort if you want to set up a whole class with their own passwords um, but either way it's a really good system so let's have a look at a worksheet so worksheets are organized into workbooks which you can then assign to classes or to individual students. So you can give different students different workbooks. So it's quite a sophisticated um, kind of way that you can you can differentiate um, without necessarily even knowing that's what's going on. So here is a typical worksheet. Um, I'm looking at it in, uh, I'm logged in and I'm looking at it in a more, um, it's, it's at the moment it's running so I can I can see this is a worksheet that I created uh, in Word and then uploaded to the system and then I went through and marked the individual things. So here we are, we got some open answers things. So this is a rectangle. Hopefully I can spell it. What shape is this? This is um, entry one, entry two, functional skills, maths. Um, you can do things like tick individual things. So we've got a tick black triangles. Uh, let's just get something wrong. Is this a blue square? I really should have changed this to be something where it allows you to choose between yes and no. Um, it would have made, made this work much better. Um, but it was an early one, so you make mistakes. Blue square, oh no, it's not. Is this a pink circle? Yes, it is. How many edges does a square have? Oh, let's go, let's go wrong there. Okay, so although I'm really good at lining things up, a little bit slapdash, um, we have some answers to the question, whereas the red triangle is next to that. That's definitely true. Um, red triangle is below. Okay, let's just leave that. What shape is the base of this cuboid? A square. Okay, so that's a, that's a typical kind of worksheet. There are other th options that you can do. So you can pick from, like I should have done here, where you have a list of answers that you can drop down. You can do word searches, you can embed videos. Um, there's just a, a, a large amount of things that you can do. And there's quite a good set of tutorials, which I'll have a quick look at in a minute. So you basically, somebody would then click finish as a student. And depending on how you've got it set up, it will normally just send the message straight to you. Um, so, but, but it also shows the student uh, what they've done wrong. And you optionally, uh, you can optionally so show what's gone wrong and you can optionally um, put a mark on it. They're always out of 10. Which is a bit of a pain. You can have a decimal in here, but there's no weighting between them. So it's a bit. That's a bit of a um, bit of a downside. But it does. Um, it does a brilliant, pretty, pretty good job. Uh, so that when that's completed, that would then appear um, in uh, your um, student view. So you can then look at those. Um, you can then look at those. So I've got uh, my students, which I could go into. I can see all the workbooks for, for my students and then go into them and have a look at them in more detail, make changes and so on. If you don't want to put your students in, you can use this custom link option uh, here, which allows you to choose some different options. You can set time limits, put, put in, I would certainly fill out these ones because that just makes it simpler to use. And then it sends the details to you, whether it, the options on whether it puts marks on, you don't have this horrible link that you can use that you can use uh, if you look at below this video you should see um, a link to a video showing you how to make those a little bit simpler so that's in a nutshell 
uh, is liveworksheets.com. If you want to have a, you can also look at the ones that have been created by other people here. Um, let's just have a quick, this is not in a nutshell now. Um, here's different things that you can, you can uh, have a look by topic. Let's see whether those, those work for you. Um, creating your own, there's a, a tu video tutorial, which is very good. And there's a tutorial page. Uh, which explains an awful lot about the different options that you can have. So you can include video, uh, you can link, match things with links where people drag, drag and drop things to, you know, against each other um, to match up. You can drag and drop things. So there's a lot of different things that you can do. Be careful as some of them don't work as well on a mobile phone. So try it and test it on a mobile phone. Okay, see you in another video.